Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to run Bugisto on Laravel Octane using a Franken PHP driver. So those who are new to Bugisto, it's an open source e-commerce platform built on Laravel and Vue.js. And Laravel Octane is actually a performance booster that's actually uh, run your application on the memory. So it will reduce the boot time of your application actually. So if you see this instance, this is actually a latest Bugisto version. So you can download from the Bugisto.com or from the GitHub repository. So let's first install the Laravel Octane here. So for installing the Laravel Octane, we just need to uh, run the composer command. So we will run composer require Laravel Octane. So this will install the uh, Laravel Octane dependency in your uh, system. So right now Laravel Octane dependency is just installing. So as you see Laravel Octane is installed. Uh, right now only dependency is installed. Now we will install actually the Laravel Octane. So let's start first here. So let me clear the screen. And if I uh, run the, for running the Octane command, you need to, uh, type this command php artisan uh, octane install so if i run this command it will ask you for the uh, server which you want to use like franken php roadrunner or sool so right now we are using the franken php driver because um, for the next driver we will uh, give you in your in the next video so right now we are just focusing on the franken php driver so with the franken php driver um, laravel will download the binary for for you actually so you don't need to install the franken php again it will provide you the binary and from that binary it will run the laravel octane actually so if i hit it will ask you like unable to locate franken php binary should octane download the binary for the operating system or not so right now do we don't have binary so we will install this binary file actually so if i press the yes button so it will start actually downloading the binary file so it will take some time so it will download it so as you see uh, our uh, octane is installed successfully if you are able to see the franken php file here this one that means the franken php binary is there so laravel will use that binary file and if you notice the dot env file here this one you will see that uh, octane server laravel octane will automatically put this env uh, automatically here octane server franken php put here actually so you don't need to actually manually add but to be double sure you need to actually check whether this is franken php or not so you need to actually double verify this so as we see we are having a octane server franken php so if i run this command like php artisan php artisan octane start so this means that the laravel will choose the driver which is set from here so right now is franken php so it will take the franken php and if you want to change the server on the runtime you need to use the hyphen hyphen flag server flag actually so you can change from here actually uh, if i am not wrong it may be server or different flag i guess so you can check there so right now let's start with the octane start so i will start this so you will see that this is actually server is running and you will see that 127 uh, localhost 8000 port it is running on the 8000 port and there are some warnings you can ignore that because these are the features provided by the uh, uh, franken php actually so you can use that also so let's check this thing actually the so if i run this here like so you will see this laravel octane right now so if i refresh this so this is actually too fast not even actually you would not be able to check that speed if you see winter if i click here it is too fast way too fast if i click here like here it is too fast actually 
so what is actually here is uh, laravel will keep all the uh, boot time in the memory so uh, in the traditional in traditional way you will see that when the request is hit then the, again the laravel will boot up and then again the all the request will go on all the request procedure will go on through and the time will get increased but when the laravel octane is in the middleware laravel octane is used actually so laravel octane will reduce the boot time actually so slightly you will see the uh, boost here actually uh, let me click once again here so let's check the matrix first so if i show you here like network log if i refresh it so you will see it is way too uh, shorter actually you will not see any difference right now at this stage we will compare this actually 212 ms first then 236 ms and here you will see it in these are the object request 17 ms 41 ms 186 ms 180 ms so let's check the traditional one also so let me open the traditional one so uh, let me open one up tab and let's uh, try web php artisan serve php artisan serve here so if i click here so this is the php artisan serve so it is running on the 8001 port so let's try this one also so so let's try this one also so uh, let me open up here and this one is the traditional one i am running on the 8001 port so currently it is not running uh, this is because my instance is on docker container so for running this i actually need to provide the host here so 0, 0, 0. so here so let's try one more time so let's try one more time uh, here so let me refresh it so if you see that this one is the traditional one and this one is the octane one so if you see this one you will not see that much difference because uh, it will only reduce the boot time but when it comes to a concurrency you will see a massive difference here so let me open this first also uh, you will see here let me refresh it so 45 ms 86 ms uh, exactly same not very much uh, difference if i show you here also uh, let me show you the page this one 207 ms so you will see that this one also um, 208 ms and this one also 174 ms so what actually a difference here so it is not actually giving the that much boost actually but let me show you the major difference here so because when it's come to the concurrency you will see that laravel octane will actually win so let me demonstrate this one also for that actually we need to run a php stress test so let me install the dependency also for the stress test let me just disable this one one more time and this one also okay so i just stopped these two these two so let me clear up this thing and install the pest stress plugin so for that actually i need to install this dependency so composer require the dependency so i need yes i need to put it in the dev also so let's add in the dev okay so this is dependency installing now the patch test test is actually added so this will let's test the concurrency so let me run the laravel octane again so here i will start the octane and here i will start the traditional one so i have both one so let's first test the concurrency so for that let me uh, test this so for that i will run the vendor bin test and then stress and first let's test the traditional one so what was the traditional one this one so let's see what this will give us actually so if i run this so this is doing a stress test for a five second actually so it is first actually setting up the setup so 
here you will see so this is actually request 34 request and test with a one concurrency 34 request and 100% success rate actually so now let's test uh, a laravel of 10 one also so if i click here so if you see there um, it is also actually uh, putting the 31 request so somehow actually it is lower um, so maybe uh, just because um, it is actually a single request so let me test for the yeah. let me test with a concurrency one actually so for that let me clear up one thing clear clear this thing and let, now let's test with the concurrency hyphen hyphen concurrency so let's test with the concurrency now you will see this thing actually getting increased so you will see 110 request with five concurrency now let's test with the traditional one here let's see what this will give so you will see that this is a 40 request actually so you will see in terms of concurrency the traditional is only able to get the 40 request uh, 40 requests but as compared to the laravel octane one you will see 110 requests so within a single request you won't be able to see that but when it's come to concurrency you will see the result that here we will having a 110 request for the five concurrency with the five concurrency and here we will having a 40 request it is just because of the laravel opt-in we are able to handle this concurrency or concurrency so the here it is actually the result for that part okay so let increase the stress let's try with the 10 concurrency also so that we can see some more difference between the traditional one and the laravel opt-in one so this time I am just putting uh, on a traditional one with a concurrency of 10. So let's see how many requests this can handle actually. So if I click here, uh, let's see with the 10 concurrent requests and you will see that now the request is actually increasing. So if you see there 45 request and 100% uh, success rate is 100% but it is able to uh, actually uh, able to handle the 45 request only. Uh, now, now let's test with the Laravel Octane one. So, what do you think with this happen? So, I will put the Laravel Octane part here, and let's try the concurrency with the ten. Okay. Now you will see that one sixty request. So. Laravel obtain able to uh, handle the 160 request where the traditional one is able to handle the 45 requests so this is actually a difference maker actually so this is actually a difference maker and and result is here actually so this is all from my end so you can give us a try on the Laravel obtain part also and if you found any bug or any issues related to the laravel octane just don't forget forget to raise an issue in the buggest to github repository that will be uh, that will be a huge contribution from your side so thank you very much uh,